I haven't been on camera in weeks. How the fuck do you intro things again? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at my grandma's house. I'm in the middle grounds between Columbus and LA. And I packed some easy go-to art supplies that I thought I could use while I'm in this little middle ground. Uh, I did not put any thoughts. I did not swatch. I did not do anything when I packed this. I threw this together so quickly. I don't know how it's gonna work out, so I'm going to to, I'm going to do. So I'm going to make something using only this stuff to see how it turns out. Challenge myself, you know? And yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. I also haven't washed my hair in um, a very long time, so don't comment on it. Don't say anything about my hair. You've been warned. I am sensitive. Here's what I've got. Really old pencil case from college. I put this little watercolor, cheap watercolor thing on here just in case I wanted to play with it. We got big paintbrush in case I want to lay down a lot of color quickly. One of my favorite Prismacolor Coal Erase pencils. I got my water brush, my Pentel water brush. I did not enjoy using this, so I packed it so I could try to see if I could get myself to enjoy this. That's why I packed this, because if this doesn't cut it, I can do details with this and do big stuff with this. I got this pen. I originally got this pen because it's a bunch of colors and I could take it to work with me and doodle, have like a variation of pen colors. Then I ended up getting a job that took a lot of my time so couldn't do it all at work anymore here is the gouache palette that i made and took to hawaii oh, like three years ago my traumatic hawaiian trip i haven't used it since so i figured i could give this some love and then from my recent haul i got these what are these called i got these paper mate pens i didn't put any thought into the colors i just chose whatever i gravitated towards uh i hope it works out for me and then oh of course, last but not least, I have two Tombow Furunosuke pens and two white gel pens just in case one wants to skip on me. I can just switch to the other one because these are my ride or dies. Honestly, out of everything here, if I needed to really take only a few things, it'd be this combo. Purple pencil, sharpener, and then these two. And then I can dominate the world. Me and all my friends are here to tell you that I got vaccinated, and if you can, you should too. Alright, I think I'm gonna start out by sketching maybe a person. Ooh. See, I feel weird about things like the Oni because it's a fictional character, so everything you see is going to be ID'd by someone, and I don't want to, like, copy someone, but what do I use, you know? I think I'm gonna use this as a a uh, thing because it's kind of more simplistic and then try to add my own twist to it i normally don't show the sketching process so i just wanted to sprinkle it in here to show off my prismacolor pencil but i kind of wanted to show my process when i'm sketching yeah, you gotta remember that this fucker is ugly so <laughs> It's not supposed to be symmetrical. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. I haven't been drawing that much and I can feel how rusty I am. And I don't know, I was just getting so sad while drawing this and uh, I might switch over to digital for a little bit just to have some undo buttons, you know what I'm saying? But I've been really trying to plow through this sketchbook. I'm kind of over it, I want it to be done. So I've been pushing hard to just do traditional work and really it's just stopping me from drawing period and that's not okay. I was really inspired by Demon Slayer. I think that art style is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The way the characters look, it's just so many different aspects so perfectly combined together. All right, I think you got the general idea of it. I'm gonna come back when this is finished. All right, so this is what I have so far. Now I'm outlining it, ooh. But back to Demon Slayer, I don't know how they're able to include so many things into one character and it go together so flawlessly. It's like a compositional masterpiece and I want to be like that one day. There's just so many different character designs and they're all so unique and they all match somehow. I just, I'm so impressed by it. It's like the most beautiful anime I've ever seen. And I don't know, I'm just a little obsessed, okay? 
So that's what I was channeling for this. I don't know how well it turned out. <laughs> Just kidding, I know exactly how it turned out. I'm not the biggest fan. But look at this. Look how satisfying this is. <sighs> so good. But while I was doing this, I was getting super discouraged. The things weren't turning out how I was envisioning it and I, Everything I did wasn't fixing it, and it was just really fucking with my head, all right? All right, I was getting really sad. I don't know what other like fun little bits of bobs I can put. I know what I wanna do, but I have to wait for the paint to dry, but I feel like I could do things out here. I'm just not sure what. There are some artists that are so good with composition, but I am not one of those artists. So really, I was just trying to figure out how to get it all to work together. And I was just not having a fun time. I was struggling with the colors. I was struggling with drawing. I was struggling with the composition. I was struggling with every part of this. And it just made me realize how much I rely on having an abundance of things. So like if I didn't like it before, I could just take a piece of paper and cover it up and maybe use a different medium to paint over it. Just always having some kind of crutch to fix it. If I don't like it, I would normally collage on top of it, but right now I don't have that as an option. So we really just ride on the struggle bus for this, to be honest. So here I'm adding some purple as shadows and I didn't enjoy it. The nib was too small and the purple was too opaque and, ah, uh, okay. I am complaining so much. <laughs> I'm just so rusty. I don't remember how to draw. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really know what to do now. <laughs> Maybe some more of these thingies. These yins. And then maybe some shading with this pencil. I also found it hard to create different value within this. And I wasn't a big fan of the shading that the color pencil added, but I really didn't know what else to do. I'm just... I'm nothing without an abundance of things. And I think this is a reality of being an artist because you practice and you can feel yourself get better, but then if you take a break, you backtrack a little bit. But as long as you keep practicing, that muscle memory will come back for sure. And it's just remembering that and to keep trying and keep practicing rather than getting discouraged like I am here. But really what I'm saying is everything that I do, I try to find a lesson in because that's how I live my life, I guess. And to split off on a tangent, I did that exact thing when I got my phone stolen. I did that thing when I got in a car accident. Everything that happens in my life that's bad, I turn into a lesson, which I don't know is healthy or not. And I think this is where I'm stopping because I can't think of anything else to draw, to be honest. She did not stop here. So I was so sad that I was gonna give up, but then I slept on it and I came back the next day and I'm just gonna keep going until I finish this spread. I don't care if it sucks. I just wanna finish it. And you know what? That's a lesson too, bitches, all right? It doesn't matter if it's bad. Just finish that shit, okay? If you start it, finish it. Because if it's bad, you're still gonna learn something. So for this, I drew a sketch of a girl and I just kinda wanted to do whatever the fuck I felt like I wanted to do. And I just wanted to use brush strokes and be stupid and try a different style I've never done before. Because at this point I have nothing to lose. I don't like what's happening so far, so might as well experiment and try different things because if I don't like it, it doesn't matter because I already don't like it. So honestly, hating your artwork is kind of a blessing. I am reaching so hard for this gold lining. Silver lining? Gold lining? Anyways, after I did that, I realized I was having a lot of fun just gloop and paint everywhere. So I decided to put some of the yellow into the person, the Oni, just because I wanted it to match a little more and because it was super satisfying. Using a little dry brush texture to be a little funky. And then I just add little bits and bobs because I wanted the colors to be cohesive as a spread. So I figured if I add little graphic aspects, it would help the composition. I don't know if it did. I was just, I just was just trying my best, okay? And that's the thing, I wanna support everyone who wants to be an artist and tries to be an artist. You are an artist and here's why. Because art is stupid. It's just creating things. It's starting with basic things and then turning it into something else. And it doesn't matter if you're good at it, if you're bad at it, which are subjective terms, by the way. 
it doesn't matter because if you do it, you are just an artist. And that's why I'm gonna go on the record and say that I'm a bad artist. I am not that good to my own standards anyway. This is just my opinion. But I'm not that good, I'm a bad artist, but it's the fact that I keep trying to improve that's important. And I know I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again. I'm just like a broken record being like, you can do it, like follow your dreams, do whatever you wanna do. But like, it really is like that. And sometimes you gotta humble yourself. All right, this was me humbling myself. I went in, my head big, my god complex, ready to go, thinking I was gonna bust this sketchbook out, be so happy, churn this video out, boom, boom, boom. And I just ended up hurting my own feelings. But what do you expect from a girl who just moved her entire life, packed a tiny kit of her art supplies, and then was like, do it, bitch, do it. So here's another reminder to be kind to yourself. So after adding all these little bits and bobs, I am officially declaring this sketchbook page finished. If anything, I think there's too much white space, like always, something I really need to work on, and yeah, that's it. Um, it's not my best work. <laughs> But I'm proud of myself for finishing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!